From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Construction and development of JSC-listed attacks waterfall city is ongoing, with new infrastructure including roads, residential properties and warehouses continuously in the pipeline. Anine Killian tells us more. During a tour of the area, Waterfall Precinct Head of Development Giles Pendleton said the last quarter had been robust and that the company received a number of corporate inquiries ranging from tenants wanting between 3,000 square meters and 50,000 square meters of letting space. The last quarter has been quite a, quite a robust uh, quarter for us. We've had a number of inquiries, corporate inquiries, uh, ranging from you know your, your standard two and 3,000 square meter tenants up to about 50,000 square meter tenants. Um, we're leveraging on and of the uh, of the continued expansion of the residential sector in Waterfall City uh, between the Baldwin products and the Century continuing to build. Um, so there's just a continual rollout in Q1 uh, 2018 uh, that has been positive for us. He points out that the company recently listed as a real estate investment trust or REIT on the JSE. He adds that the REIT conversion finalizes the company's shift in focus from providing only capital growth to a focus on total return, comprising sustainable income distributions as well as capital growth. He also adds that there are significant tax benefits to the listing and that the REIT paid distributions twice a year, which was beneficial to investors. Attack is targeting a maiden dividend payment of 73 cents per share, payable in October for the financial year ended June 30. It's a conversion from a capital growth fund into a REIT um, with a high, high yielding distribution. Um, I think that aligns us with the rest of the South African property sector, the large corporate players uh, and the large funds. Um, we are slightly different in that regard because we have a large development pipeline and a large greenfields uh, environment, which is the land bank around us in Waterfall. So it gives us a more focused and concentrated approach, and that I think sets ATT&CK apart from the other REITs. Acting ATT&CK CEO Melt Hammond notes that Cummins and Deloitte are busy building their distribution centers on the eastern side of Waterfall City, which will be due for completion at the end of this year and 2022 respectively. He further highlighted that, from a location point of view, Waterfall was between Johannesburg, Sandstone and Pretoria, adding to its accessibility. If you look at Waterfall, we split Waterfall between Waterfall City, which is your commercial hotel and residential um, rights. And then on the eastern side of a highway, it's the um, Waterfall Logistics Hub, which is the industrial. Coming back to the city, we are currently busy with Deloitte, um, Deloitte's head office. What we have done, we've consolidated the two offices, the one office in Woodmead and then the one office in Pretoria. And that's also one of the um, selling point for Waterfall is the fact that we're in between Joburg and Pretoria, so if you want to consolidate your offices, then we are sort of in the middle of the two. Coming back to Deloitte, it's 42,000 square meters. Um, it's due for opening April 2020, and then about 3,500 staff members will, will move into, into those offices. Then we're also busy on the eastern side of our highway with a new DC or distribution center for Cummins. That's due for completion closer to the end of this calendar year. And then we're also doing two office um, developments um, closer to the existing waterfall corner. Um, and that's a combination of having secured tenants and then also having spec buildings. So I'd say coming back to your question, why are people want to move to, to waterfall? Uh, I think it's one, it's the location, it's easy access from the N1 um, via Allendale, and it's also a secured environment. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.